uh, to reiterate uh, and uh, kind of bring to a, a simple understanding, you can't surrender the surname. Now, a lot of people have sent me that, and they think that I'm telling them to surrender the surname. That is Caesar's. So you render that to them, that's theirs, but it's not yours. When you click, the only thing that makes it yours is when you attach your private name to it. So hopefully that is clearly understood there. When John claims Smith, he's in form. That's why we have informants. Your parents were in form when they filled out the statement of birth record. Um, I haven't run into anybody who never filled out the, their parents never filled out the given name to allow them to choose. And, and put non-transferable in the given name box uh, or private. Uh, but uh, overall, when you don't un comprehend that, that concept, you're still in misconception. So you can't surrender something that's really not yours. It's, it already is theirs. It's just that you're crossing the line to lay claim to it. You're going from private into public. And, and so therefore, um, the, the state name is the registered name, which is the surname, not the given name. And when we, uh, we look at, uh, you know, a very simple uh, dictionary definition out of Black's 10, uh, not really, I'm only reading out of this because I know I'm still having to reach the legal minds right now to get them into understanding what's going on so that I can help you uh, kick out, uh, you know, the bad, the bad knowledge out of your mind but you have to see what you're in for the moment where your two feet are up. So in sin you are is a definition we did in a previous video, uh, probably back about almost a year ago. Uh, you look at in sin you are, how obvious is that? It's spelled in and then sin and then you as a se separate letter and are. So it's in sin you are. So it's in debt you are or in trespass of the law you are. And what does it say? Roman and civil law to register, to deposit an instrument with a public registry. Okay, so that's insinuar. Insinuatio, Latin, information or suggestion. So surnames are only suppositions, as we had read in a previous video under the UN handbook on uh, birth registration that mentioned that anything was underlined on the statement of birth records filled in by the parents, was nothing more than a supposition. Um, so therefore, it's just a suggestion. This term sometimes appeared in the phrase ex insinuation, on the information, which is the precursor to the modern on information and belief. So that's why the parents put down, I am satisfied, uh, you know, basically to the correctness and sufficient, sorry, say, I certify that the above you know, particulars are correct to the best of my belief and knowledge. So they were, uh, they were basically um, only working on a belief, a misconception, because when they placed your given name on there, um, they, of course, were in the misconception journey of believing that you were going to continue, uh, you know, down a wrong direction with them. Unfortunately, uh, the blind lead the blind. So they all will fall into the pit, as Jesus said. So in this situation, the blind did lead the blind, and I admit the majority of people are in that blinded uh, pit right now trying to climb out, uh, so out of that debtor's prison. So we have to, uh, we have to realize that there wasn't really anything hidden here. Uh, the knowledge is, is out there. If you're looking for it, you can find it. But how more obvious that the public registry was dealt with by the Roman civil law is in sin you are.